What is up, gentlemen and gentle women? It is the Sound Alchemist, and today I'm bringing you those 40 facts on the Warhammer 40k universe. However, today we are diving into Cameron Shelford's personal 40 facts on his own Legion. Well, it's more of a homegrown chapter than the Legion, but you get my drift. So without further ado, guys, let's begin this lore on this fan chapter. The Imperial Hawks, the savior of Daxus IV. A bit of information on the chapter. The Imperial Hawks are a non-codex compliant chapter with over 2,000 Marines in service. And in this, there are always 1,500 full battle brothers and 500 scouts at any given time. They specialize in shock and awe tactics with a preference for melee combat, fielding two companies of assault squads. Brother Atriox Pav. Was it all worth it? In the end, becoming one of the Emperor's holy angels of vengeance. Now the galaxy that despises us has lent me to believe that humanity has no right to exist with the fall of Cadia and no sign of Lord Gilliman and his ultramarines. The galaxy seems lost. The Imperial forces are stretched too thin, and they are struggling to hold back the tide. Do I desert? Do I fight? Do I lose hope? No. I will not. This galaxy belongs to us. To me and my brothers who are en route to an emergency call out to the Daxis subsector. We have to assist the local Imperial Guard forces and stem the tide of traitors and heretics spewing into this sector. I hope we arrive in time. Arriving at sublight speed at Daxus IV, the Imperial Guard were about to begin orbital bombardment of a major enemy force, but the chapter master of the Imperial Hawks ordered the sector admiral to stand down. My lord, the civilians will be killed. The chapter master interrupted him. I understand, but in the bombardment, you will kill more due to the proximity of the ordnance to the hive city. I will deploy my chapter to the surface. I will leave with the 10th company immediately, and we will beat back the traitors while the guardsmen under your command prepare. The admiral was taken back a moment. His thoughts hadn't considered the loss of life that the sector was more smaller than everyone, so every casualty had to be saved. Every piece of collateral damage would hurt the Imperial War effort more, but this hive was unique, as it had under the city miles and miles of bunkers and storage houses. Then the Admiral responds, My lord, I believe I know why the traitors are here. The chapter master's interest peaked. Then speak, Admiral. Well, my lord, under the city there are miles of bunkers and storage houses, so I supp- The master grumbled. They plan to butcher and loot the world, I see. Hm. We will leave immediately. Chapter Master Tarion, out. Chapter Master Tarion touched the Vox links on his helmet. Captain Darius, is the first company ready for drop pot assault? The captain paused for a brief moment as to look over to a slight chunk of magazine for a storm bolter, which entered the magazine housing. Yes, my lord, 20 terminators are ready for immediate assault on the enemy. The chapter master chuckled a bit, and then he said, to get your drop pods and tell the entire company to equip for close quarters combat and to leave all heavy weapons behind. Yes, my lord, Captain Darius, out. The chapter master walked towards the armaments chamber where two servitors were holding his bolt pistol and power sword, kneeling and holding them towards him. He took the weaponry from them. With a raspy mechanical voice, one of them said, Slay the enemy with the fury of space marines. As is the emperor's will, they will fall. The chapter master looked at the servitor with a confused and surprised look. Under his helmet, he replied, His will be done and he placed the pistol on his leg, the sword to his belt, and he walked towards the drop pod bays, escorted by the 10th Company assault squads, and two veterans from the company's elite squad. Old friend, what foe are we facing on the ground? The captain of the 10th inquired. From aspects and visual imagery form guardsmen on the ground, 
It is perhaps the Iron Warriors Traitor Legion, or an occult following from the populace. The chapter master thought of the words to use. The Eldric terrors from the warp, old friend. The two veterans looked back at their captain, who was not paying attention to them. I see. This should be like the Akarian conflict, facing them again. Those demons and traitors. Huh. Just another day in service, my friend. And with that, we have come to the end of this lore of the Imperial Hawks, the saviors of Daxus IV. So, like I said, guys, this is part one, which kind of talks about their arrival into the system and them getting ready to finally assault the enemies of these, uh, well, of, of humanity in general. <laughs> um, so, again, this is only part one. There's more parts to come. But for now, this is all the lore we have on the Imperial Hawks. Uh, down in the comments below, please let Cameron uh, know all your thoughts about it, how he can improve the narrative, what you guys might want to see next and whatnot, and we'll go from there. Huge thank you for Cameron for sending in his lore to us. Um, again, guys, you can either send it to us at our email, onemindsyndicate1 one at gmail.com, or you can send it over to us on our Facebook page. Um, just send us a link on the messenger, and we'll we'll see what we can do. We do get a lot of these, so forgive us if we don't get to yours in a timely manner. Sometimes it gets lost in the sea of multiple comments, multiple emails, but, you know, just keep on trying, guys. And that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. Please sit tight as we bring you guys more 40k videos each and every day. This is the Sound Alchemist, and I'm part of One Mind Syndicate, and I will see you guys tomorrow.